All right, you guys ready to see your new bathroom? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Okay, so I brought this tissue paper from, let's see, Burlington for $3. Mostly why I brought it is because of the gingerbread pink theme. I want to try something out to go with the kids' bathroom and add a little bit more festivity to the toilet tissue. So I got this idea, or mostly inspiration, from LB London, my girl. Um... And I just want to see how it works. She had to use napkins and wrapped her toilet tissue and it looked amazing. And I just want to try it with some tissue paper because I was going to try napkins, but I was unable to find any cute gingerbread napkins that would probably even fit to wrap nicely um, for the toilet tissue. So we're going to try to see how this turns out, but I really hope it turns out how I envision. I'm also a little upset that there's literally like four pieces and... Yeah, but I'm sure I'm going to be using the white and all the other, you know, Christmas colors for gifts later. So let's try to see how this works. All right, so I'm going to take some toilet paper. I'm not sure if I want to make sure it lines up right. I think it's all upside down. The tissue goes both ways but I'm thinking to just center the toilet tissue and then just basically tuck it in the middle guys this looks like it's working Okay, well for now, it's giving what it was supposed to give. Um, I'm probably gonna play with it some more, but you guys, how cute is this about to be in the bathroom? I mean, everything is going to be gingerbread. Like, I want it to look like someone just like vomit pink gingerbread theme in the bathroom because I'm overkilling. Like I, y'all know I usually do less is more, but this is gonna be overkill, okay? For the kids, overkill. I want it overstimulated. Like that's how much gingerbread I want going on in the kids' bathroom. <laughs> okay, so I actually figured it out. I had to turn it this way and lay it on the paper so that I can just stuff the sides in the middle. You see how it's way tighter this time? Looks so much better. So, figured it out. Sorry, you guys. Just ran y'all hassle for absolutely no reason. Okay, so let's get into this bathroom transformation. Um, first, I'm going to clean, do a nice deep clean, scrub, get on my hands and knees and really deep clean this bathroom because it's time. Um, and that's why I was also waiting for this video because I was like, I might as well just clean it on video with you guys. I know you guys like a lot of cleaning with me, organizing videos. So I thought this will be perfect to add to this video. We are also going to do a little mini gingerbread haul as well. I have to break up my haul videos, you guys, because because I haven't been filming any of my Christmas haul stuff because, you know, I'm trying to wait until it's a little further into, you know, fall, trying to get through fall season and not overwhelm. But I'm going to go ahead and start because I have so much to decorate this year that I have to start early and I figured I might as well share with you guys some gingerbread finds. I mean, most of the gingerbread finds are gonna be specifically for this bathroom. I have a lot more stuff, you know, that I will share with you guys. And the next video will probably be another haul video. Also, I would love to know if you guys are decorating your bathrooms, whether it's your guest bathroom, your kids bathroom, your bathroom, your powder room. I would love to know. And if you guys are gonna decorate, what themes are you going for? I cannot wait for y'all to see how everything comes together. together sorry. It was so beautiful to the point where I was like, kids, um, we're trading bathrooms because y'all bathroom is just so cute. <laughs> like, so cute. I 
All right, so here is the shower curtain, you guys. I am in love with it. So I am gonna be adding some reds and some greens and stuff like that, but mostly pink and gingerbread. This one was found at TJ Maxx for $16.99. I remember when I first saw it, I was like, oh, it's so cute and I would love to decorate the bathroom, but I was like, I need to find more material. I was like, if I just have a shower curtain, that's not enough. Like I need hand towels, bath towels. I need the full on decorations and themes that go with this uh, design. But you guys, wait till you see everything that I found because it comes together so well. So now we're just gonna put up the shower curtain. I have to take this shower curtain down. And I brought a new clear um, shower protector thing too. This stuff has been up for a while, so it's trash. Probably going to leave this decoration up for some months after Christmas, just so they can get the full feels. And then I'll go back to just regular everyday decorations, which might be another video because I'm not sure what theme I'm gonna do in here. gonna put the shower curtain on a refresh just to steam out the wrinkles and then it'll be ready to hang. Okay, the shower curtain is ready. It's steamed. The wrinkles are gone, you guys. And I'm so ready to hang it up. I mean, look at this cute little, it's like cookie, gingerbread little cookies at the top. I mean, it's just absolutely pretty. And it has little bows hanging for the strings. I love it. I could not find any cute shower hooks. I looked on Amazon. I was looking around to see if I could find anything. But there was nothing cute, so I was like, whatever. I'll just continue to use the clear ones that I had, and yeah. Okay, final look. How cute, you guys. I am obsessed. And that is just the top part. But then at the bottom, you have your pastel colors, a little village with snow. I mean, it's so cute. All right, so now it's time to get into this wall art, y'all. I found the most epic wall gingerbread pink art from Burlington for only $10. Now, I was looking on Etsy, I was looking on Timu, all these places to try to find the perfect wall art. And when I tell y'all, I hopped in Burlington and found this, I almost gasped. And I only believe there's like one going to each store. So y'all run. That's why I was trying to get this video out because I'm telling you, like if we don't decorate and I share stuff with y'all early, you know this stuff is not going to last. Like people are already going crazy. So I'm just going to hang these up with little tacks. I don't have the, what is it? The little um, 
tape stuff that I used last time. What is that stuff called? Y'all know that little tape stuff where you can basically hang it up and it doesn't rip the paint off, which it didn't. I literally just showed y'all. It does not. <laughs> I can't think of the word. Oh, command strips. The command strips, you guys. Like if you're renting and you don't really want to put any holes in the wall, that is the best thing to use. But because I'm not renting, I don't care. I'm putting tacks in the wall, you guys. <laughs> I'm not going to put nails because that's overkill. But I usually use like little wall tacks and it works so great so that's what i'm gonna use and the holes are really small this bathroom still needs to be painted so like i'm not worried if things really kind of messed up with the walls because we still have to paint the kids bathroom the straight vertical up and down look you guys and how stinking cute with that sunlight slapping it anywho okay on to even better things look at this gingerbread bath rug when i tell y'all marshall's for 12.99 i hopped in here it was only one I also ordered one off Timu. It is a gingerbread house with a little bit of pink in it. But this was like all I could find. There's nothing really cute that doesn't have all that traditional green, like dark greens. Like if anything, I want pastel green in this bathroom and it was too much dark green. So that's what I found. And I'm going to update this video when that rug comes in. Okay, and let me just tell you about my other new find for this kid's bathroom. I've been wanting to find a little cute let's say end table or little mini vanity for this bathroom for a little while because we didn't do the double sinks just yet and I found this three drawer with the most prettiest gold and crystal knobs absolutely stunning for $150 at home goods it has a marble top so that's mostly why the price is a little higher than usual um, but it's very sturdy and it is stunning I absolutely love it I'm probably going to fill the drawer up with some hand towels uh, of course like the kids um, stuff they need to use toiletry stuff restock so I may do a video for you guys with you know just a restocking and how I um store the things in the drawers so i did want to do a little mini tree in this bathroom but because of my toddler son you guys it was a hard no maybe next year a little tree on top of this little vanity would be cute but for now and i'm and i'm saying that like this not ceramic which you guys he has been doing so good with the gingerbread diner like i brought this that gingerbread diner from the at-home store maybe four years ago now this candle from Burlington two years ago, but I did see this resurface. I did see that candle in Burlington when I grabbed those wall art. So you still have a chance to grab that. Um, the little reindeer, cute little reindeer. I think she was from Walmart maybe a couple years ago, y'all. You know, a lot of the stuff is just old. Like I said, the only new stuff was the shower curtain because I never decorated the bathroom before. Um, but all the other little decor pieces is from a couple years old, which you still may have a chance to buy. And now time for the grand finale. You guys, look how beautiful everything's turned out. I am obsessed. I don't know if I shared with you guys where the soap was from. I think that was Home Goods. And the hand towel was Home Goods as well. It came in a two pack. I don't know where the video went. I thought I shared that with you guys. Um, but y'all, I love it. And the toilet tissue, towards the end, you guys are going to see where I do multiple um, but I still have some stuff I need to add, which is some, I want to do when Bath and Body Works comes out with their collection, I want to add some lotions and shower gels. So I'll have some updates for you guys, but so far, this is how everything turned out and it's so pretty. The bath top, where'd the video go? I don't even, I'm missing video. Like, I don't think you guys seen that. Whatever. Those hand, those bath towels were from Home Goods. And of course, I already let you know where the shower curtain's from, but I love how it looks. It's so cute. Like, look at me in this bathroom. I fit so naturally. Stop it. This is my bathroom now. The kids better go find a new one. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to see your new bathroom? Yeah. Yeah? All right, here we go. <gasps> how? Whoa! Look at you digging in the drawers already. How cute. You like you the shower? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Look, Noah, did you see the gingerbread rug? Oh, no. Whoa, I like it. Yeah, these are You like it? Nevada, it turns on. Turn the light on. Yeah. Underneath. Now you close the drawers. Be careful. 
Watch your fingers. Turn the light off. I'm gonna buy you guys a night light. Whoa, look, it lights up. Okay, hold on, let's check out you guys' outfits because you guys look so cute. <laughs> okay, as you guys seen and heard, the children absolutely loves their bathroom. So happy. That's what makes me feel great inside. But thanks you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video.